Hi friends, Laura Zam here. I am a wellness expert and author of the book, The Pleasure Plan. Today we're gonna to be talking about a core, you can call it a mindfulness practice, a fun mindfulness practice called pleasure layering. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back. We are talking today about pleasure layering. What is this? How do we do it? And why do I need this? I'm going to start with why you need this. Pleasure layering is basically a way to be in your body in the here and now. And science has really, really found that being able to center ourselves in this way, to get out of our heads, to get out of our ego, to get out of uh, all kinds of states of mind where we're criticizing ourselves, criticizing other people, reacting in ways emotionally that aren't healthy for our relationships or even our well-being, <laughs> like blowing up at your boss. All of these things can be helped if we can have some kind of a core practice really like a core understanding but physical understanding which comes through practice of being in our bodies in the here and now my way of doing this is something called pleasure layering so pleasure layering as i said originally is technically a mindfulness activity but it's not a mindfulness activity to the extent that it's something that you feel you have to do or you should be doing or anything like that instead it's something that is intrinsically fun and also is self-motivating pleasure layering is mindfulness that is already self-motivating you don't have to schedule it and work so hard to do this kind of practice. The reason it is self-motivating is because the body automatically moves towards pleasure and away from pain. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to analyze it. You don't have to force yourself. The body is going to move naturally towards anything that it likes. And pleasure layering is just capitalizing on that, right? So it's not something extra you have to fit into your life. Instead, it's capitalizing on the pleasures that you already have in your life. Okay, let's practice it. And then you'll get a sense of it in your body. And hopefully you will do this on a regular basis. So pleasure layering has four basic steps. The first step is to find what I call pleasure number one. Pleasure number one is just the pleasure that you're going to start with. And the best way to do this is to start with a pleasure that is already in your life. Here are some examples. You could do pleasure layering. And by the way, pleasure layering takes about two minutes, basically. It's a way of loading up right? Loading up pleasures that you already have. So you can start with pleasure number one, which might be a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the morning, right? That could be your pleasure number one. Pleasure number one could be just waking up in the morning feeling so, I don't know, comfy and so delicious, just lying there, warm maybe, having a nice blanket on us. That can be your pleasure number one. Pleasure number one could be, at the end of the day, could be falling asleep, right? The, the comfort that you feel could be that pleasure number one. So we want something that is, like I said, already in our day, all right? I'm gonna work with a cup here of tea. So I've got my pleasure number one, my tea, and step two is to just take a little bit of extra time with that tea. Just see if you can maybe just 
whatever senses are already stimulated, just see if you could surrender to them a little bit more. Another way of thinking about this is just taking an extra couple of seconds to savor whatever it is. Right? So you just slow down a little bit with something that you're already doing. And you, if you tend to read the news online or a paper or scroll through your phone while you're drinking your coffee, I'll ask you to experiment with pleasure layering to just put aside any kind of devices or reading material and to just be present with the coffee or tea. All right? So number one is you just identify which pleasure is going to be pleasure number one, like w how you're going to incorporate this into your day. Basically, number two is once you're already drinking you or lying there, you just savor that a little bit more. Step number three is going to be to add another pleasure. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to notice something visually if that's available to you or you could do it noticing with um, some other sense like hearing or tactile but noticing something else that might be pleasing that might be pleasing so perhaps you're by a window and you just now notice oh there's some trees there's some lovely trees there that are starting to bloom, right? Uh, here, at least in Washington, D.C., spring is like right here. So, right, so you just fix your eyes on something. So now you've got two pleasures, right? You have your beverage and you have something outside the window. You could do the same thing, just right lying in bed, just seeing something perhaps around the room that's pleasing to you. It's your bedroom or whatever room you sleep in. So there should be things, usually there are things that we've placed there specifically to make them pleasing, to make our home pleasing. So you've got this pleasure number two, right? And all you're going to do is just bring your focus from one pleasure to the next and just go back and forth a few times, right? Step number three is going to be perhaps adding one more pleasure. If you want to do bonus, you could add pleasures for each of your senses, but just to keep this easy, add one more sense. So what I'm going to add is a piece of chocolate, a wrapped piece of chocolate. And it could be a treat that you um, might have available. You could go and get that treat <laughs> um, if it's in your purse or in the kitchen. Um, or it could be perhaps um, putting on a little bit of music with your headphones, especially if you're in a, a public place. So you could just add one more. And like before, you're just going to go back and forth from the T. I'm looking at a vision board that actually I have behind the computer. So I've got T, I've got vision board, I've got chocolate. In the beginning, your brain will um, be able to focus probably just on one of these at a time and the mind will drift so you'll have to just bring it back to these pleasures but over time you'll be able to hold more than one pleasure in your consciousness at a time so holding the tea and the pleasure of looking at the vision board and even the chocolate Over time, what we want to see if we can actually feel the layering of these pleasures so that there is a, a kind of cumulative pleasure effect or even um, a synergistic effect where the sum is greater than the individual parts and there's a, a, there can be a bit of a, a rush, like a, a, little ple a little pleasure buzz that we get from these right, from these intentional pleasures. So those are the four steps for practicing 
our pleasure layering, you find pleasure number one. Number two, you really take some time to savor that. Number three, you just add one more pleasure, but perhaps some, a few more. And step four is just uh, going back and forth, going back and forth between these pleasures and seeing if you can find that, that layering or synergistic effect. Start simple, start easy. Just see if there might be some pleasure already built in your day and um, maybe just take a little bit of extra time with that pleasure just to savor it. Um, and then from there, maybe on another day, perhaps then you want to um, build and see if you can build this out a little bit, knowing that you may be doing this practice um, during your morning coffee, for instance, or, or lying in bed. So that is it for pleasure layering. Please put any comments or questions below. And if you like these videos on all kinds of pleasure, I encourage you to subscribe as well. I will see you in the next video.